Claire leaving came as a complete surprise. Yeah, it's weird. In one minute, she's booked on this course. Something she really wanted. Next minute, she's gone. No explanation, nothing. It's because her mum had a stroke. Stroke? Yeah. Just when she came down to Sun Hill, she told me that her mum had had a stroke and that's where she moved down. Look after a sort of thing. Well, if that's the case, it's news to me. To tell you the truth, we all thought she might have been picked for a special job. So, not only has she fingered Batsini, she's also promised us more on Fallon's drugs activities. Where is she now? I've got her safely hidden away in a and b up the road. I'm going to take a few days. I'm going to get a full statement. I'm going to do a proper debrief. So we are keeping this in-house, yeah? Apparently, she'll only speak to John. Now, I've spoken to Amit and Area Drugs, and they're happy for us to run with it. They'll just wait for the product. In the meantime, John needs support. Yeah, well, I suppose I could lend a hand if you like, Gov. Yeah, it sounds great. Is that all right with you, Claire? You put a lot of work into this. Well, with all due respect, Gov, I, I don't think it's a good idea at all. I think there should be a female officer present. A bit late for that, isn't it, Claire? I mean, after all, John's just spent the night with her, haven't you, John? Right, well, that's decided then. Claire, you partner up with John and get down there as soon as you can. Thanks for the vote of confidence in this. It's nothing personal, I was agreeing. Oh, really? Then why didn't you call me this morning and tell me about last night? Because there was nothing to tell. I'll meet you down by the car. Fine. Come on. <sighs> Look. I'm going to have to call you back. I'm in the toilet, all right? See that? Can't even get the loo now. What's up, John? I think I've got a problem with Claire. Oh, no, not you two again. What's it now? The other night, she was staying at mine, and I woke up and she wasn't in the bed. And I found her at my desk, and she was going through the drawers. And the thing is, she was going through the drawer where I keep all my bank statements. She said she was just after an aspirin. So what are you saying? She's a nosy girl? You should try being married sometime. No, it's not just that. I ran into an old colleague of hers, worked with her at Finchley. And he said the rumour there when she left was that she'd been picked for a special job. What kind of job? Oh, that's the question, isn't it? And why me? You're thinking that she was ordered to get into your bed? Oh, come on, John. Well, well, I don't know. She's been acting really strange, and... I don't know what to do. Hey, John. Now, don't you say anything for God's sake, all right? Yeah. Because she just think you've been spying on her, that's all. Just leave it for now. If it happens again, talk to me first. Hmm? Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's nice to tell someone. Hey, come on. <laughs> 